Jody and his companions are still here inside the vaults of the Ansilvand excavation. We have slain the necromancer Loa Alskaven who had been uh, intending to cause mischief with her undead hordes. Of course we have uh, taken her out and uh, we are now here in her bedroom apparently we've uh, looted everything that could be looted nothing really too much of uh, value huh what's this Fort Era 175 Imperial Citizen Lua Alskaven it is with the deepest regret that I must inform you of the death of your husband, Sa'il. He laid down his life in battle, helping retake the Imperial City from the Old Mary. He showed great courage in his final hour, and his sacrifice had not been in vain. All considered him a man of high moral standing and a shining example of the best the Empire has to offer. In this hour of your grief, please take solace in the fact that he gave up his life, protecting the empire which he held so dear. Your sincerely Imperial Prefect, Pius Brucius. Uh, yes, uh, I'm sure she appreciated that. Anyway, uh, we have rested up. Lydia has had a little nap. Uh, before we go, let's take this time out to talk to our friend here. I am here for you. Yes. Uh, any thoughts? Mr. Dragonfly is thinking this is the most fun you can have in a jar. He would know. Uh, yes. Uh huh. Sure. Uh. All right. Let the adventure continue. Right. Uh, let's go then. I assume this is the exit. Uh, oh. Oh. Come on, you two. Oh. Oh, one are you Very good. Come on. Should be a way out here. Oh, all right. There we go. Finally. Whoa. Was that dragon waiting for us? Uh, 
Ei sitten. Snowberry. <laughs> what horrible weather, especially to fight a dragon in. Oh. Just follow my scent. Come on. I fell in love with a pretty bandit girl once. She robbed my heart, then ate it in front of me. Wow. That must have been painful. Back where we started. Come on. All right. This we're we're in sunnier country. Huh. Let's not go in circles. Come on. This way. Lydia, you may enjoy this joke. What is the difference between a knitting needle and a piece of giant's poop? I've never held a knitting needle. <laughs> that is not the answer I heard, but it is pretty funny. Good job. <laughs> yeah, it's good that they are finally getting along a bit. Oh, finally. It's the road. Sure, you can hear a dragon. Where did you come from? What? Oh. Oh. Nigo, you are using that sword. It's better if you use Good the. Good morning, my friend. Yes. You give me best equipment, yes? Yes, you should use your ebony sword, my friend. Uh, you are using it, but uh, give me that. And give me that. Right, use your sword. Yes, we'll sell these. Might damage them. We were here before, on the way to Riften, but now we are heading the opposite direction, even if uh, we are backtracking a bit. Dragon again.
Did we not just kill a dragon uh, over there? Don't tell me they replaced it already. Now that is really irritating. All that hard work. Oh? Who are you? Oh. Huh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Alright. Vigilance of Stendhal. Don't really need the... Uh, to bother with them. Whoa, look at that. A majestic beast. Well, it seems to be just staying over there. The Jory has already gotten the world of power over there, so he can just... He can just chill. Come on. We're in a hurry, after all. Yeah, he should become more alert. Uh oh. That is. Who are you? Who are you? Hello? I'm on a pilgrimage to the oh. shrine of Azura, the goddess of twilight. If you'll excuse me. Ah, oh, really? Where is this shrine you are talking about? In the mountains to the northeast. I'll mark it on your map. Oh, thank you. Shrine of Azura, eh? There may be profit in finding this shrine. Well, Jory cannot think why. Oh, come on. Uh, Lydia, uh, I've got your back. Yes, I uh, need your help carrying some of these things. It's an honor to serve you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's take this uh, bear pelts basket. This pelt. Uh, Jory should actually pay you to your allowance soon. Uh, yes. I will protect you with my life. All right. Wow, that dragon sounds very close. Let's go on. Should be headed for the city of Windhelm very soon. What? Oh no! Damn it! Ah well. I do have a potion. Hmm. Let's wait a moment. Alright. Why waste a potion? 
and I can use uh, yes this by the way let us uh, keep some of the stuff a lot of new weapons, eh? Lots of things to sell. Alright. <laughs> eh, wait. Oh, Johnny should have filled up his... Uh, yeah. Johnny should have filled up his uh, water canteen. Oh well. We can do this later. Ah. Is my fever gone? No, it's still there. Well, we can we'll give it a bit of time. Oh. Jory likes your backpack. Right. Oh. It's apparently a small town. Huh. Kind scrub, eh? Eh. Uh, Jory has no need for ins, but uh, maybe we can uh, replenish our food supply. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, All and warm right. beds. Oh. Alright, eh. Uh, Didia, relax for a while. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Go ahead, ask away. Uh, oh, well. Now we're here. Um, you could continue your story to tell me more about your past. My father showed uh, my brother and I how to use a sword. My mother taught us the bow. Happy childhood memories. Oh, it's very similar to Jory's own childhood, my friend. My father, he taught me, well, well uh, to defend myself and uh, the roguish arts. While my mother, she was a mage. Hmm. Well, go on. I grew up in a river hold, not far from Cyrodiil. My brother and I headed for the Imperial City to find our fortune when we came of age. I found love, for a time at the least. My brother found death. Oh? What do you mean, love? Well, now that I think about it, maybe it was not love. It was brief and, as it turned out, one-sided. Anyway, oh. all that happened later. And uh, what about death? I will come to that soon. Oh. There is a little more to hear first. All right. Go on then. My mother and father are both gone. They died protecting a trading caravan a few years back. Oh. I guess I am an orphan again. <sighs> I am sorry for your loss, Inigo. That means a great deal. Thank you. Uh, what were your parents like, if you don't mind Jory asking? I suppose they were a bit of an odd couple, being an Argonian and a Khajiit, but they adored uh? each other. And us. Despite their previous profession, oh. they were good people. Huh. Ah, please continue. My brother and I found much work as sellswords. Yeah. We never made it to the Imperial City, but we made a lot of coin. So, what kind of jobs did you do? 
A bit of giant killing here, a bit of witch slaying there. We took gold when it was offered, but sometimes we worked for nothing. Oh. It is hard to deny those in need whether they have coin or not. We made more than enough from those who could pay anyway. Heh. <laughs> you are very much alike, my friend. Tell me more. I awoke one morning to a lot of noise outside our tent. My brother staggered in, bleeding, and pushed our father's sword into my hand. He said that if I loved him, I would run. He used the last of his strength to rip out the back of the tent and push me down the slope beyond. Some khajiit hating locals had blamed us for a spate of robberies in the area and had decided to take the matter into their own hands. Twelve of them had snuck up on us in the night. My brother died. But I live because of him. Oh. Jory is sorry. Illegal. Losing your brother like that must have been terrible. Yes. That morning I lost all that was dear to me. Unfortunately, I also uncovered a side of myself I never knew existed. Oh. Do you ever wish you had stayed and fought? Every day, my friend. Every day. What was your brother's name? His name was Fergus. I miss him very much, but part of me is glad he did not witness what became of me after his passing. Huh. If you had died instead of him, he may have traveled a similar path, you know. I appreciate the sentiment, but I hit rock bottom and kept digging. Oh. He would have been stronger. Eh. Do not sell yourself short, my friend. Anything else? I was recruited by a group of bandits a few years ago. That is when I discovered Skuma. Oh. It was the beginning of a lot of nastiness. Go on. I was with a bandit girl for a while. Ah. Turns out she was using me. She wanted protection, not affection. Huh. As soon as she found someone more psychopathic, I was dropped like a sack of troll dung. Well... Did you actually love her? I thought I did. We dulled each other's pain somewhat. She seemed like the only bright thing in a very dark place. Regrettably, she bright was a things. vicious, manipulative harpy. <laughs> That's a healthy way of looking at it. Jory thinks. Anything else? I left the bandits and took the only ally I had with me. He was also an addict, but we thought we had it under control. His name was Felix. He was a big fellow, good in his scrap. We became mercenaries together. Oh. Okay, anything else? After a few months, Felix and I had made a little gold, but our addiction to Skuma was getting in the way. No one trusts an addict, my friend. Especially not another addict. Oh. Do you miss it? Skuma. Ah. Skuma Jory means. From time to time my body does. But my mind is made up. I am never touching this stuff again. It helped me smother some painful memories. But it took my sense and reason as payment. It was not a fair trade. Very good, my friend. Tell me more about this uh, Felix. There is not much to tell. He never spoke about his past, but it was clear he had also been through a great deal before becoming a bandit. Huh. That life did not seem to suit him. He had been an educated man at some point, I am sure of it. He was violent, but he had retained some dim vestige of honor. I wish we had met under different circumstances. Hmm. Anything else? One day, Felix burst into my chamber. Instinct took over and I reacted. His murder was my second last step on the road of dishonor. 
Oh. Trying to kill you was my last. My journal tells the rest. Read it if you want. I do not enjoy speaking of these things. Well, that I... is my story. Not a happy one, but maybe the happy stuff is still to come. Yes. Yes, Inigo. Ah, uh, Johnny agrees. Now that we have met each other, and now that you are clean, perhaps together we can find our happy trails, eh? Let us promise each other that uh, we will continue to trust one another and protect one another. Let us go. Yes. Ah, oh, Lydia. Our little family. <laughs> I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Oh. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right. Oh, my friend. I feel strange. What? Ah, my mind is vibrating in my skull. It feels like it is at the end of a hook. Uh, uh are you okay? I do not know. Uh, Wait, the sensation is receding. That was horrible. Oh, how do you feel? What was that all about? I'm okay. I have no idea what it was. All of a sudden, there was a bright flash, and it felt like my mind was being pulled out of my ears. Uh, that doesn't sound good. If it happens again, let Jory know, all right? Do not worry about me, my friend. Let us get back to it. Huh. You sure? All right, come on. Huh. All right. ah, it is happening again. My mind is vibrating. It feels like it is on the end of a rope. Ah. Wait, I see something. Oh. A cabin, trees, a face. It is fading. It is under the rug. Ah. Thank the gods, it is weakening. Oh. It ah. is over. Uh, Ow. Oh, what did you see? Tell Jory. I saw brief flashes of a cabin in the snow. It was uh. surrounded by trees. What is happening to me? Uh, you said something about it is under the rug. What were you talking about? Yes, something small and shiny. A coin? A ring? No, uh, I cannot remember. I think my brain is broken. Jory uh, hopes not. At least not permanently. Uh, did you recognize the cabin at least? No, but something about the landscape was familiar. I wish I could remember where I have seen it before. Jory wishes too. Anything else? Perhaps could be of help. A man, perhaps? A bearded man. Oh. I did not recognize him. The flashes were very fast and confusing. A bearded man. That's pretty much everyone else in Skyrim. <sighs> anyway, let's hope it doesn't happen again. Let's move on. Okay. If it does happen again, and my brain tries to escape through my nose, push it back in, please. Huh. I... Jory hopes that he does not have to do that. Huh. Alright. According to this map... Uh, Windhelm should be straight ahead. Perhaps we could uh, acquire new spells over there with the court wizard. 
We are keeping fit. Yes. Jory is not one for using horses, you know? He would much rather travel on his own two feet. Much more reliable, you know? Ah, there it is. Windhelm. Then what is that? Another fortress, eh? There, perhaps another time. We've been making uh, quite a good living. Smashing these uh, bandit fortresses. Eh? <laughs> have quite a bit of coin to show for it. And Jory dare say, perhaps we've made Skyrim a bit safer for our efforts. Oh. We dare. Stables. Oh. All right. Oh, look at that. Quite impressive. Jory has heard that the uh, Windhelm is the oldest city in all of Skyrim. But it is also the seat of the Stormcloak Rebellion. Huh. must be a very dangerous place if you are an Imperial, eh? Uh, Lydia, White Run is uh, a neutral hold, right? Huh. Oh. Jory does not like this. Uh-oh. Perhaps we could... Uh, Hello. Hold it there, Khajiit. Yes. Uh, You're not allowed inside the city. It's the law here. You need what? to leave. What? The, uh, Jory has permission to be here. He is the Tain of White Run. No. I don't think so. Uh, you. Fine. Come with me. Thrown out of the city like common rabble. No, even worse than rabble. We are garbage to them. <sighs> Jory thinks that he would much rather have Skyrim without these storm cloaks. You've made a big mistake making Jory very angry at you. Very angry indeed. 